Hello YouTube, it's Gal from Casual Consoles and today we're back with another Yandere Simulator. Now did you know that there is lore in this? Um, if you've seen my videos before of this, which if you haven't, you should go back and watch them. I think they're somewhat entertaining. You might too, you never know. But I found some tapes and I didn't know exactly what they was. But apparently there's quite a bit of tapes and they have some very interesting things on them. So that's what we're doing today is we're gonna go through and we're going to find these tapes and we're going to listen to them. Now I'm going to go with the, the running panties. They, they call them spats. I, I've never heard them called that before. Of course, I, I'm not really, you know, familiar with all the different variety of types of women's underwear. But we're going to go with the spats. Now, apparently, there should be two cassette tapes that is like a different set because there's two sets of cassette tapes, but there's a bunch of cassette tapes. One of them would be, yep, it's right here. Now these are the basement tapes. And then there's one right there. There's only two basement tapes, but I guess there should be more, but uh, I don't think they've been released yet, so we'll just have to find out. But then the rest of the tapes, if you noticed, where I was picking them up. This is a this is a brand new game that I just started, so I don't have them. I have to go through and find them, but they are scattered along the school. And I forgot how many exactly there are, but we will definitely find out. And then I got to take them to the audio visual room. I believe it's the audio visual room, and we can listen to them. Okay, so now we can run a little bit faster. Just a little bit. Of course, we have to get a nice picture of our senpai there we go and we're just gonna save that one we ain't gonna do anything with our rivals this time uh, this one's pretty much just gonna be a straightforward video we're just gonna look for the tapes and we're gonna listen to them there is quite a bit each tape is about two minutes long I believe so that's what we're gonna have to do oh I seen one it's right here there's one and we'll just check behind here to see if there's any back here now every now and then there's a manga back there and once I pick up a few we'll go up and uh, we'll go up to the room and we'll see how many we can find this is really pretty I've always wanted to go see the cherry blossom trees I just haven't made it there yet I have been to Japan just in the airport well hello there this is supposed to be a brand new game. Why are you here? Okay, good enough explanation for me, I guess. Okay, so this one's in this corner. It seems like a lot of them are in corners, which is good because that's less we have to look for. This is supposed to be some pretty interesting lore. So, oh look, I found a manga. There's another tape. These things are pretty easy to spot on the ground because this this is like completely flat. So, just seeing a small speck really helps. There's another tape. Oh wait, it's not the audio visual room I need to go into. It is the computer lab. Okay, so we still need to find four tapes. But since we got one through five, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, listen to these five tapes first and then go get the other ones. Sound good? All right, let's do this. Looks like it still works. As long as it's recording, I suppose I might as well say something. How long has it been since I last used this thing? It's been at least two decades, almost wow. three. Those were better times. I was so young back then. My future seemed so bright. I remember following my dreams. I remember a promising career. I remember being happy. If I could turn back time, 
What would I do differently? I know. I know exactly what I should have done. I shouldn't have gotten involved with that case. With that girl. What case? Pursuing her was the right thing to do. But if I hadn't involved myself with her, I'd still have a career. When did it begin? I think it was... April of 1989. The peak of my career as an investigative journalist. That's when I heard about a murder at the local high school. The police had no leads. I decided to investigate it myself. I tried to be a hero. And that was the worst mistake of my life. Well, that was a little bit unsettling. Um, <laughs> uh, I, is there... Let's just listen to tape number two, because I'm a little confused. Like, there's a murder at the high school? The school's faculty didn't let me conduct an investigation on school grounds. They were highly concerned with maintaining their prestigious reputation. They didn't want any police or journalists snooping around and ruining the school's image any more than the murder already had. Or maybe they just had something to hide and didn't want the authorities to find out. To this day, I still don't know how the school managed to convince the police that any crime that takes place on school grounds can only be investigated for six hours maximum. Oh, wow. I heard a rumor that the school's headmaster bribes the police department to expedite their investigations as much as possible. There were a lot of unsavory rumors about the school's headmaster, but none have been proven to be true. I wonder if it's the same headmaster. Because I couldn't work around the school... I used to gather information by interviewing students outside of the school gate when they entered or left the school. It was at this point in time that I noticed a peculiar girl who was quite obviously stalking one of her seniors. I decided to keep my eye on her, and before long, I began to observe some disturbing behavior from her. Maybe there's another yandere. school gate, I witnessed the girl do more than just stalk an upperclassman. She stalked any girl who spoke to him. Through student interviews, I kept tabs on what happened to those girls. They became the victims of bullying, were expelled, and in some cases, stopped coming to school. I frequently saw the girl running with a mop and a bucket, <laughs> as though she always had some sort of mess to clean up. Oh yeah, I know that feeling. That girl was using manipulation, intimidation, and sometimes even violence, to sabotage the boy's love life. Wow. If she wasn't above that kind of behavior, the possibility of murder didn't seem too far off. I didn't want to believe that a schoolgirl would actually commit murder just to keep a boy single, but the evidence was staring me straight in the face. That's when I learned a crucial piece of information. The girl who was murdered at the beginning of the school year had a crush on the same boy that was being stalked. The final piece of the puzzle had fallen into place. I knew that I had found the culprit. I went to the police with my findings. It took a lot of talking, but I was eventually able to convince them to take the girl into custody. Oh. So, uh, someone just like me. Yeah, there's another yandere. Another yandere. The idea of a murderous schoolgirl was scandalous enough to attract lots of attention. Word of her arrest quickly spread across the entire nation. The trial turned into a media circus. I became a celebrity practically overnight. I didn't want to be a public figure, but I did want my investigative skill to be recognized. I hoped that all the attention would boost my career. As it turns out, I was dead wrong. That manipulative little schoolgirl put on the best act I've ever seen. That's she what us younger I do. Feigned ignorance at every opportunity and had an excuse for every accusation leveled at her. The court fell in love with her. The media fell in love with her. The entire damn nation fell in love with her. She called me a dirty pervert who enjoyed leering at schoolgirls. Wow. She called me a fame-seeking yellow journalist. She claimed that I only accused her of murder for sensational headlines. The court bought every word of it. The day the judge declared her innocent. The entire country celebrated like it was a damn holiday. Wow. This yandere is good. From that 
day forward, I was a national disgrace. I was known across the country as a lecherous journalist who stalked schoolgirls and tried to throw a girl in prison to boost his own career. I saw disgust in the eyes of every person who looked at me. My house and my car were vandalized every day for weeks. Needless to say, I was never able to work as a journalist again. The police department that arrested the girl was also the subject of national criticism. They were accused of being incompetent fools who would arrest anyone without sufficient evidence. Ever since then, the police in that town have been extremely lenient in an attempt to repair their reputation and don't want to go anywhere near the local high school except for extremely brief periods of time. But the worst part of the entire experience didn't come from the media or the public. Immediately after the trial, I tried to escape the press by hiding in an alley behind the courthouse. Hmm. Only one person found me there. The girl. It wasn't a journalist or a reporter. It was the girl that had just been declared innocent. Called it. I'll never forget her face that day. She was smiling, but her eyes were blank. Empty. Soulless. Like a doll's eyes. That's kind of creepy. She looked like she didn't have a single ounce of humanity in her entire body. With that smiling face, she said to me, It would be very easy to make your death look like a suicide. <laughs> Don't ever cross me again. She turned around and left without another word. Wow. This yandere is good. This yandere is real good. Now, we also have two other tapes, the basement tapes. Like I said, that there's only two released. I don't know why it's one and ten, but um, we are not. And then there's headmaster tapes, but we are not going to get into those yet. Because I think they take place after, after these mysterious tapes, so we're not going to do it yet. Yes. So we need to find four more tapes, and then we can listen to six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then the basement tapes. And then we will have all the current lore that we that we can have at this point in time. So let's go find those tapes. That story is interesting, though. It like really is. I wonder if they're in all the corners down here. Oh, there's another one. Alright. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So here's another one. So is this the last one? Oh, so that was good. That was real good. So let's go listen to these tapes. The whole last was seven? Seven of them. I don't know about anybody else, but like Anytime you find like old cassettes like this, it just sounds so creepy. My life was a living hell for about a year while the trial was still fresh in people's minds. Eventually, the hatred subsided, but it never truly died. There was always someone who recognized me no matter how much I tried to change my appearance. Finding employment was nearly impossible. I drifted between part-time jobs and spent my free time drinking to ease the pain of becoming the national punching bag. It was around this point in time that I met my future wife. I still don't understand what she saw in me. I was an absolute wreck, not to mention the laughingstock of the entire country. But as soon as we met, she wanted to spend every waking moment with me. She wouldn't let me out of her sight and got possessive if another woman so much as looked at me. Oh, wow. I quickly came to depend on her for everything. It wasn't long before I couldn't live without her. I certainly wasn't in any state to take care of myself. I was like an adult-sized baby, helpless and vulnerable. Who knows? Maybe that's what she was attracted to. Maybe she just wanted to experience the sensation of owning a person. Maybe she wanted to keep a human pet. Maybe all she wanted was someone who she could emotionally depend on. Even after all these years, I don't understand why anyone would waste their time with a man like me. But none of that mattered. 
Despite all my flaws, she accepted me. And that's all I needed. We got married about six months after meeting each other. Okay. Alright. I don't really have much to say about that one, except for, I mean, it's cool that he had somebody. Kind of sucks that, you know, she was... My wife died while giving birth to our only child. Oh. I still don't know how I possibly found the strength to keep going after I lost her. I was completely dependent on her for absolutely everything. I could barely take care of myself, much less a baby. Somehow, I managed to make it through those years. But even after all this time, I'm still a deadbeat drunk who can't hold down a job. It's kind of sad. It was very difficult to love my own infant daughter, knowing that my wife was dead because of her. I'd hate to ever be put in that situation. I'm pretty sure I was a horrible father. She practically had to raise herself. And I never tried to spend much time with her. Or learn about her interests. Even now, I don't think I know very much about her. I don't even know what kind of person she's turned into. I don't even know what her everyday life is like. I know that she spends all of her time on her computer. She bought it herself. She seems to have a lot of money for someone her age. What are they talking I'm afraid about? to ask where it comes from. Sometimes, she comes home with blood on her clothing. I can't tell if it's her blood or someone else's blood. I try to stay out of her business. What? It's partially out of respect for her privacy. But it's mostly out of fear. Wait, hold, hold on. What? What? Blood on her clothing? Like, at first, I thought he was talking about me, but I never come home all bloody because... I clean up nice. But who are you talking about? I've never told anyone about any of this. Never saw a shrink, never had any friends to confide in. I thought that it would be therapeutic to record my feelings, even if I'm only talking to an obsolete machine. But this hasn't calmed me down at all. The only thing to come out of this experience is that all of the anger and hate I've kept buried for the past two decades has risen back to the surface. I don't think I can go back to the way things were before. I don't think I can go back to wasting my time with crappy part-time jobs, drinking, and sitting on a couch feeling miserable. Sounds pretty crappy. I don't want this to be my life. Don't blame you. But I can't let myself die just yet either. Not until I see justice served. That girl from 1989. She's a grown woman by now, but she's never been punished for the sins of her youth. I can't go on living in a world where a monster like her walks around in public. I'm the only one who knows the truth about her, so I'm the only one who can bring her to justice. I still know how to track a person down. I still know how to learn a person's secrets. I still know how to dig up the truth. For the first time in decades, I feel like I have a purpose. I feel like I know what to do with my life. I'm going to deliver justice to that murderer, or I'm going to die trying. <laughs> this old antique was good for something after all. So he's going to go back after the girl. After I don't see this ending well. I don't see this ending well at all. I found her. It wasn't hard. She never even moved out of her hometown. I've been following her around town for the past week. It's not that hard to follow someone without being spotted if you know the right tricks. The only difficult part is looking at her without being consumed with disgust. Thinking about what she got away with. Thinking about what she's responsible for. It almost makes me go blind with rage. This whole week, I felt like something was wrong. Yesterday, I realized what it was. I'm surprised it took me so long to figure it out. She suddenly changed directions while walking, or linger in one place for seemingly no reason. I recognized that behavior. It's my own behavior. I know what she's doing. 
She's stalking someone. Oh, wow. It didn't take me long to figure out who her prey was. A young woman just out of high school. I don't know what she's done wrong, but she's clearly marked for death. She'll be dead within a week if I don't do something. I want to warn her that a killer is stalking her, but... I can't repeat the mistakes of the past. In order to convict this monster and send her to prison, I need firm evidence that she's a murderer. If I save this young woman's life, I won't have any evidence. So you're gonna let her die, huh? I have to let her die. And I have to be there when it happens, filming her murder. It's the only way to get the evidence I need. The only way to make sure that justice is served. But... Is this really justice? Letting a woman die? Mm. If I don't get this monster arrested, then there will only be more victims in the future. So, letting her commit murder one last time is... the right thing to do. Isn't it? That is a really, really hard decision. Like... What would you guys do? Put down in the comments below. Would you let her kill him or kill her? Or would you tell her so she can get to safety? I honestly don't know what I would do in that situation. I mean, I would probably let her kill her because then I could have evidence to put her away. Sacrifice one for the greater good, I guess. But, you know, you never really know until you're put in that situation. So here's the last tape of the regular mysterious tapes. Damned fool. I got sloppy. She caught me. Oh. I followed her into an alley, lost her in the shadows. Then I heard her voice from behind me. Long time no see, Mr. Journalist. I turned around and saw her just inches away from me. She was smiling. I recognized that smile. It was the exact same smile she wore when she threatened my life in 1989. I didn't know what to do. I just turned and ran. I've broken a truce that lasted almost three decades. She knows I was after her. There's no way she'll let me live. I'm doomed. I can't go to the police. I'll sound like a babbling lunatic without evidence, and right now I don't have any. Even if they do listen to me, an investigator, they won't find anything. My only option is to leave town. No. Oh, no. It's worse than that. I have to leave Japan altogether. Wow. I searched for you, but I couldn't find you. I can't wait for you to come home. I have to leave immediately. I'm going to gather all the recordings I've made so far and put them where I know you'll find them. That way, at least you'll know why your father disappeared so suddenly. I only hope that she doesn't try to get revenge on me by harming you. It's not my father. <laughs> I don't know when I'll be back. I don't know if I'll be back. I don't know if she's willing to cross oceans to hunt her prey. If she is, I'll try to lure her into a trap, try to expose her true nature in front of the police. It's my only hope. I know you can take care of yourself. If I had more time, there's so many things I'd say to you, but I can't. Not now. Stay safe. I love you. That kind of sent chills up my spine. That last part of that tape. Wow. Oh. Whoever did the voice acting in this did a really good job. Alright, now the last two tapes. These are the basement tapes. I'm confused. Like, if... Is he my father or one of my, my classmates' fathers? I don't know. Maybe these tapes will reveal it. fun, but it gets a bit old after six hours, you know? What's happening? Where am I? We're in my basement, darling. My mom went through a lot of trouble to get this basement added to our home. What are you talking about? Huh? What is this? 
Am I tied to a chair? That's right, darling. That's the very same chair that my mother built for my father while she was keeping him here. And now you get to sit there, too. Isn't that romantic? That's very romantic. Are you... That girl's been on the TV lately? What was it? Aishi-san? Oh, you don't need to be so formal, darling. You can use my first name, you know. Oh, God. It's not true, is it? All those things the journalist said? I said, use my first name, darling. I'm sorry. I don't know you well enough to... Say oh. my name. Ryoba! Ryoba! <sighs> Okay. Wh what? Oh, darling. I've been waiting so long to hear you say that. I'm so glad that I caught it on tape. B what do you want from me? Am I your next victim? Victim? Of course not, darling. You're the one I was protecting this whole time. Protecting? You mean all those girls at school? That's right, darling. They were threatening our love. I had to get rid of them all. Love? But we've never even spoken to each other before. I know, darling. It's so exciting to talk to you for the first time. I can't wait to have all of our firsts. Our first date, our first meal together, our first kiss, our first... <laughs> wow. If you love someone, you shouldn't kidnap them and tie them to a chair. Well... How else am I supposed to make sure that you don't try to run away, darling? Please. Please. Let me go. I promise I won't tell the police. Sorry, darling. You're not allowed out of that chair until I'm 100% sure that you'll never try to leave me. From this day forward, I'm never going to let you out of my sight. We'll be together forever. F forever. That's right. Oh, looks like it's time to change the tape. One moment, darling. <laughs> wow. Wow. What? So, okay, these were in my basement. Are these my parents? Because if that if that's my parents, my mother is freaking nutcase, which would explain where I got all my stuff from. That, that would explain everything. All right, last one. Let's see what she has for her darling this time. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Did I scare you? <laughs> uh, I didn't hear you come in. After all these years, you still can't tell when I'm standing behind you? I thought you would have been able to tell by now, darling. Well, you do make a career at not being seen. What were you doing down here, darling? Oh, are those our old tapes? The ones we made back in the 80s? <laughs> Did you get a bit nostalgic for the good old days? Well, I suppose you could say that. You know, I had a nostalgic moment today too, darling. I saw someone who I hadn't seen in decades. Oh. And by that, I mean this is the first time he's seen me in decades. The journalist. Who are you talking about? Oh my. Are you jealous, darling? Are you worried that someone is going to steal your beloved wife away? That's actually the last thing I worry about. <laughs> oh, darling, that's so romantic. Right. <laughs> right. So who did you see today? I'll tell you all about it on the way to the airport, darling. Wait, airport? That's right, darling. Pack your bags, we're going to America. We can't do that. What about our jobs? Don't worry, darling. I've already called the boss and informed him that we need to take a little trip. He was very understanding. How long will we be gone for? I'm not sure, darling. It all depends on how fast I track him down. What about our daughter? Tomorrow is the first day of high school. If our daughter is anything like her mother, she'll have absolutely no problems whatsoever taking care of herself. Oh, I hope she meets someone special. It would be so nice if she's gotten a boyfriend by the time we get back. I hope not. What was that, darling? N nothing, sweetie. Enough dawdling, darling. We have to get going. Uh, shouldn't I pick up the tapes? They're scattered everywhere. Don't bother, darling. What if our daughter finds them? You know, there's a part of me that hopes she does. 
<laughs> huh? It's on. Must have hit record. Okay. Um. So my my dad finally gave in to my mom, I guess, and my mom is a complete nutcase. Probably worse than I am in this game. Um, uh, poor journalist. Wow. Oh, well, I'm, at, I'm at a loss for words. I, I really don't know what to say about all. I did not expect that. I did not ex expect that at all. Oh, that was crazy. That was creepy. Listening to the journalist crying and then just that mantic mother that apparently I have. Oh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did. So apparently there's still a lot more stuff to uncover here. But unfortunately, that is it for today because that was a lot of recordings. Yeah. That was a lot of recordings. But there's just so much more going on here. I mean, the things are just so interesting. Just sit there and listen to, you know, find them and and find out the backstory to all these characters and this school and everything that's happening. And I swear, though, if I have to hear Darling one more time, I'm going to go insane. But with that being said, if you guys like the content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and down below. We're definitely going to continue this. Stay casual and I'm outie.